We're here at GTC 2016, where we just saw the keynote from NVIDIA's conference, and the main item here to talk about today is a new VR demo. So it's sort of like the Everest VR demo, but the new one is on Mars. So this is Mars 2030, and it's an eight square kilometer area that uses photogrammetry from satellite flyovers to actually build the landscape. And this is somewhat at a top level, similar to what we talked about with the Everest VR previously, and you can read about that in some of our CES coverage. And items like that. But with Mars, the demo was actually showcased by Steve Wozniak. So that did add a bit of humor to the element. We've got the full article below if you want to read more on that. But one of the main interactions was when Steve Wozniak sort of stepped into the rover. And there's actually a rover on the surface. You can either walk around, you can drive around. And getting into the rover has some audio files that were recorded by NVIDIA at NASA headquarters. So they were able to recreate audio more accurately to what's actually going on. Now, in terms of other forms of accuracy within the demo, there's a physically accurate representation of the Mars rover's wheels and shocks as it moves around the surface. So there's this suspension movement as is appropriate for different rocks and other terrain elements. And speaking of the rocks specifically, I don't know if he was exaggerating or not, but NVIDIA CEO Jensen said that there were a million rocks and many of them were handcrafted on the surface of the Mars 2030 demo. The next major announcement at the keynote was the introduction of Pascal Tesla P100. So that's the first GPU for Pascal that's being produced en masse and it just entered volume production. So that's the P100 GPU and it's in the Tesla P100 card, the solution, which is not a consumer solution. It's not a GeForce product. It's sort of on the supercompute side. But just for sake of reference, the new P100 is a 15 billion-ish transistor GPU. It's got 10.6 teraflops of FP32 compute, more than 20 teraflops of FP16, making it definitely very powerful. It's the largest GPU that NVIDIA has ever produced according to the stage presence here at GTC. And that, of course, leaves the question of where's, where's GeForce? Where's the stuff that we care about as gamers? And that's not been announced yet here today. We obviously know Pascal is forthcoming for gaming. HBM2 is on the Tesla P100. We'll probably be on the GeForce side as well. But there's currently a pretty large window for AMD to try and get moving with their Polaris, their Navi, and their Vega GPU architecture that we talked about at GDC, not TC, GDC, just a couple weeks ago. So right now, it's a pretty interesting time to keep an eye on Polaris and Navi, and then see if Pascal is still going to hit for 2016 on the gaming side, on the G4 side, and of course, if it will include HBM2, or if they're going to be using GDDR5X or something similar, or both, which is the most likely right now from what we've looked at previously. All this coverage, as always, linked below for full details if you want more depth, and if you like this type of coverage, check out our Patreon link, the post-roll video, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you all next time.